Hey, another new AI. Okay, so we've got a new AI called OV. This model is based on the WAN 2.25B model and is able to generate text to video or image to video with audio output using your text prompts to make the character speak. The thing is, it's trimmed for 5 second videos at 24 frames per second in 720p resolution with aspect ratios of either 9 to 16 or 16 to 9, a very typical format for WAN 2.2. As you can see, there's a reference for inferencing the WaveSpeed AI as well as on Hugging Face. You can download these models now, but before we do that, let's check out some examples and then we'll get started running it locally. Hey, this is Benji AI Playground. Let's try out some new AI here. Hey, this is Benji AI Playground. Let's try some new AI. Use it or toss it. Your choice. Time to rise. Feel it. The city's heartbeat. Today, I choose magic. And closely, it's calling. It's. They don't know who they're chasing, but I do. Peace is a lie. I am. Get out of here. Listen closely, it's calling. So here's the Comfy UI custom node for these models. It's called Comfy UI OVI. You can install it locally or on your private server. Now let's go through the steps. How do we install this? I'm using a manual install because some steps require command prompts, and not everything can be done through the Comfy UI manager. So in the command prompt window, first of all, activate your virtual environment. I'm using Conda, but you can use other VenV if you prefer. Next, go to your custom underscore nodes folder and run a git clone with this URL. That's the GitHub repo for the custom node. Then, go into the Comfy UI OV folder using the command line. After that, make sure you're in your Comfy UI virtual environment and run pip install r requirements.txt to install all the dependencies needed for this custom node to run the AI model. You'll see a bunch of installation messages pop up, something like this. Once that's done, go back to your main Comfy UI folder and restart Comfy UI. But before you do that, you'll need to download the model weights for this custom node to work. So the next step is to download the text encoder and the WAN 2.2 VAE. Since I already have those two files, I can skip this part on my machine but the only thing I still need is the OV11B BF16 safe tensors file and the MM audio model files. But if you haven't used MM audio before, or the text encoder and VAE, you'll need to go through the process of downloading those models. Here's some additional info. There's a list of available nodes showing what this custom node can do, how to use it, etc. We'll try that out later. Since I've already used the full OV models from with the OV official GitHub project and downloaded all the checkpoint files, I can just copy and paste them into the Comfy UI models folder. That's the same as clicking the download links and placing the files in the right locations. So what I've done here is put the OV11B model files in the right spot. By default, when you download from Hugging Face, the model files are named something like model.safetensors, but you'll need to rename them exactly as the custom node expects. Since I'm using the BF16 version, I renamed it to OV11B BF16. Moving on to the MM Audio model, you can download that from the MM Audio Hugging Face repo. I'll share the link in the description. It goes into a subfolder inside the custom node called CKPTS. When you do a fresh install, that CKPTS folder won't exist yet so you'll need to create it yourself. Once I made the folder and downloaded the MM audio files, which include two model files, I just copied them in. So basically, I've completed the four main tasks for downloading the model weights needed to run this OVAI model. Now let's start Comfy UI and check for any errors during startup. Once it's fully loaded, you should see the import messages and you'll find Comfy UI OVI listed there imported successfully with no errors. Great, we can move on. Now that Comfy UI is up, I want to try building a workflow from scratch without using any of their example workflows. 
because honestly, there are only a few custom nodes in this package. So first, drag in the OV engine loader, then select the OV11BBF16 file. There are two file types you can choose from, BF16 or FP8, but I haven't found the FP8 version in their hugging face repo yet. If I do, I'll update the link in the description. The device will default to your GPU, usually device zero, which is your first GPU. Next, select your VAE and text encoder files. I have a few text encoder versions, so I'll try the UMT 5FP16 first and see if it works. Now, let's connect the other components. The OVI Attention Selector, I'm using Sage Attention, and the OVI Latent Decoder, which processes the video and audio output. Of course, we also need the Video Generator node. This lets you input your text prompt and adjust settings. For image to video, you'll need a first frame image. Just drag in a load image node. This image will be the starting point for your five second video. It's great for character focused shots, like this one where the character is standing still. You can then add a text prompt to make her speak and add some motion. I'll set a fixed seed number to make testing easier. Now, how do you actually get the AI to speak with audio? According to the GitHub instructions, the model supports speech and audio synthesis and you can optionally use a first frame image. You can also do text or image to video. The key is using brackets with S and E around your script. That's how you trigger speech. This seems to be the most common way people use this model. So I'm going to test that. Between the S and E, I'll type the script I want the character to say. Then I'll add a general text prompt to describe how the character should look and move while talking. Finally, for output, We'll use a simple video combine node, connect the images, which are the video frames, and the audio. Remember to set the frame rate to 24, since that's what this model uses, not 16 frames per second. All right, that's the basic setup for a simple workflow that generates a talking character with synced audio. The first time you run it, it'll download some tokenizer JSON files and other small assets since only the main model files are pre-downloaded into the Diffusion Models folder. We'll wait for it to generate and see how it looks. Here's the result from that input image. I already showed you a demo of this character speaking at the start of the video. Hey, this is Benji AI Playground. Let's try out some new AI here. One thing I have to mention, the UMT5, so I switched to the BF16 text encoder from the official WAN 2.2 Hugging Face repo which does work. And yes, you can use safe tensors instead of .pth files as recommended in the GitHub repo. I'll include the direct download link in the description so you can get the right files without any issues. Back to the attention selector. If you have Sage Attention installed, use it. Otherwise, it'll fall back to the default SDP attention in Comfy UI. So far, the video looks pretty nice. Since it's image to video, it keeps my first frame and animates the character talking. You can also disconnect the first frame image, and then you'll get pure text to video with audio, like this example I have here. That's possible because the WAN 2.25B model combines both text to video and image to video in one, and OV inherits those features. Here's another example. I tried a different text prompt. Let's check the command prompt window. For text to video, you'll see something like T2V mode appear, and all your input parameters from the video generator node will show up there too. In my earlier image to video example, you'll see the image path and settings logged as well. Interestingly, image to video seems to take a bit longer to load than text to video. In my tests, both took about two minutes for a five second video at 50 sampling steps. No torch compile or speedups, just running the WAN 2.25B model normally. Use it or toss it. Your choice. I also tried building a workflow that generates multiple scenes in one batch. During my testing, I played around with chaining different scenes together. This subgraph, imagine meatballs connected by spaghetti or like an Asian fishball skewer. It's a fun way to chain outputs and get a final combined result. I even combined all the final clips into one video with synced audio. For that, I used Quen Image Edit to create a single base character image, then applied the Lightning Four Steps LoRa, 
with three sampling groups to generate three variations of the same character in different scenes. It's a quick way to keep character consistency while changing the action or expression. Feel free to experiment. Artists like you can imagine all kinds of cool things to do with multiple scenes. Now, here's a limitation. You can't control the voice. There's no voice cloning or reference audio input. The voice is randomly generated each time. Also, the video length is fixed at 5 seconds. You can't change it. If you look at the video generator node, there's no option for voice cloning, reference audio, or video length duration. That means if you're making a character speak across multiple clips, even in the same batch, you might get different voices, which can sound weird. You could work around it by treating each clip as a different character, but honestly, this model is more for fun than for production grade work. Still, it's a cool start. Good try, especially since it outputs both video and audio together, kind of like Google's VO3, though even VO3 doesn't perfectly clone reference voices either. So yeah, that's the deal with this model. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.